you had a podcast that uh, talked about finding silver linings and whatnot. So like, what have your silver linings been in this? You know, obviously you've started, you know, a whole career as being an artist. I'm sure that's quite the silver lining, but um, I would say like, you know, extraneous to that, like what else, you know, what, what have, what's your silver lining in, uh, in COVID? Yeah, that's actually, you know, I did another episode with my friend's podcast in Pittsburgh and we started talking about that because I'm definitely a person that lives that way. You know, like I don't negate like the hardships or the hard things that happen, but when I am down, I just try to remember like, man, Sarah, remember the last time you were down and you didn't see the way out and like, here you are, you know? So I always try and tap back to that place. Um, I think the silver linings I've found, you know, in this, we're recognizing um, my resilience and what I can tap into when I'm, you know, I, I was in it at the one studio. I was like one of the top teachers. I had been there for a long time and that just, you know, was taken away. Um, and I think we can put a lot of uh, our identity into a job and into a place. So I think realizing um my inner strength and, and that, you know, I took a lot of time to slow down and to look at like, okay, what do I want my day to look like? You know, what do I want to be doing? Who do I want to be surrounding myself with? Who's been checking in, you know, who's staying around. So realizing like who your core group is and who really cares about you has been a silver lining, getting to slow down and get my own fitness and my own workouts in when I was teaching five classes a day, I'm putting all of my energy out there, like my own uh, physical well-being with my voice and my body went down. I'm feeling the strongest and the healthiest I have in a long time. I got to have my surgery. Um, I think finding um, really the art has been crazy. I have a whole new business and new opportunities coming out of this. Um, but I guess a lot of those things too come from the work that I did looking inward and looking at, you know, how do I want to move forward out of this? Um, yeah, so I would take that. I mean, I, I'm like 57 days sober right now. I decided at the beginning of the year just to do a 30 day thing. And then my mom asked me to join her for a hundred days. And I think what's been coming out of this is like, how do I want to be showing up in my life and what version of myself? And so I'm just exploring that. Um, just for me too, like when I talk about that stuff, I always like to say like, that's just my journey. I, you know, I'm not, you know, putting anybody else down or anything. I'm just exploring sobriety right now. And it's showed up in my fitness, my health and my creativity, um, and being able to read more. So I definitely, um, I feel like from having my work taken away from me, I've definitely been able to find that silver lining in the, in the the good on the other side of, you know, what felt like a loss. And I, and I did let myself feel it. You know, I very much was like, let me deal with this right now, because if I don't, I might just like bottle that up. And, um, there was definitely a little bit of time. I'd have like ghost feelings of going back to the studio that I worked at. And I was like, Oh my God, that's gone. That space is gone. I'm never teaching there again. Like it's closed. Oh. Um, you know, so dealing with it, facing it, but then being like, okay, because I think too, and I don't know if you feel this sometimes, like, I'm sure there are definitely parts of that life that I was like, yeah, this is what I want. And this is how I want it to be. But then when you dig deeper, it's like, okay, but also how tired was I? And how much was I looking like, did art just seem like this fantasy that would never happen? And the opportunities that have come up around that, um, by putting myself out there through saying, you know what, I'm a painter and here's my art page and I'm doing this thing. So that did also come out of this year. So. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, I, I love that. And I think that uh, I do think that there's like the silver linings conversation that isn't happening enough. Um, I think people kind of think it's a little bit taboo because of how, you know, terrible a lot of this shit is, yeah. but like, if people can't also acknowledge that like reality has a lot of things that happen simultaneously in it, like, yeah, you probably, you also had a cyst on your 
you know, your uh, vocal cords. So it's like we, we we talked about some terrible shit that happened to you already. It's not like this has been everything like sunshine and rainbows for you. Right. You know, and, but- I, and I, yeah, like also too, you know, like I I don't have kids. Like I, I when I I share these things too, you know, like all I can speak to is my journey. And I think my friends and I that have seen silver linings and had good things come out of this do feel like, oh, you know, like, because yes, people have also gotten really sick and people have lost loved ones and absolutely. So it is not putting any of those things aside for sure. Right. Yeah. I just think that that goes with the, like, just being reasonable, right. Just being yeah. a knowing that reality has a ton of things that happen simultaneously in parallel with each other. And like, to be able to talk about the fact that like there was some good that came out of a very bad situation shouldn't be a touchy situation or people shouldn't freak out on like, man, I can't believe that you would be, you'd even dare to talk about that whenever like people are sick and dying. It's like, yeah, okay. Like, like we can have that conversation too. Also that is also happening, but like, right. You know, like the, 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 my existence in and of itself, you know, is taking place as well. And I mean, this could be a whole other topic, but I always feel like you want to look at the dark, the dark is there, you know, you want to go into the deep, like we can go there, but also it's like, why not share the good? And I think sometimes people get put down for that. Like you were just saying, you know, celebrating the good. It's like, what is that cocky or too much, you know, but it's like, you want to dig into the sadness and the trauma it's there, but also, you know, like why not talk about something great? You're getting to do this podcast art is happening for fun raising. Like there is good, there is light. 